Hi everyone, Adam from LG Hooker and I'm just here today to have a quick chat about what happens after the contract's been negotiated, accepted and dated. So picture this, you've negotiated the contract, it's been signed and now there's a date on there. What happens for you as the seller? Well as an agent, we've got to keep working on the property. We stay in touch with the buyer and we work through the conditions, whether that be finance, due diligence, body corporate searches or building and pest. Uh, it's our job to make sure that those things run smoothly. So we'll attend the building and pest inspection, we'll negotiate any issues that come out of that, and we'll stay on top of what is actually going through the buyer's mind at the time. We'll also need to be present for valuations because at the moment, some areas are struggling, especially with units, to have those values added up. So it can be really important for us to actually provide some sales evidence to those valuers just to help support the price at the end of the day making their job easier. And then what happens after that? So you get through to that point and the contract's unconditional. What we then do is help you make sure that you move out in time or the tenants move out in time or just the transition of the property from yourself to the buyer goes seamlessly. So we'll be there for pre-settlement inspections with the buyers and just to make sure that the property is up to standard. So come settlement day, there aren't any hidden bits and pieces that might go on at the end. So. That's a quick rundown. It is a little bit more complex and there's a lot of things that we do behind the scene. But as a seller, we'll keep you up to date all the time with what's going on throughout the process and hopefully be a nice, quick, smooth transition for the sale.